thought our new method might intrigue Cal. I mean, I wanted to show her we don't all take them in the way we did by the Paramount with Maze. We can just extract some and let them spin out feeling free from it. And everybody prospers. She hadn't come around for a while and neither Bless nor Freddy had seen her. I asked them again and again, day after day, asking anyone and everyone. Nobody had seen her. Bless made a sarcastic remark about my being so infatuated with Maze. It was no wonder Kel wasn't around. A really low blow. She looked at me disgusted and she was never going to back off now. She was going to stand there all obstinate in front with her non-best friend entitlement card again. Playing that card. And what was I supposed to do? She was mean about it and made me cry. She stood there smoking, holding her elbow in her hand and I implored her to leave it alone. I had always dreamed she and Maze could be friends and we could hang out together and have fun, but it was never gonna happen. I started to turn one of my rings on my pinky I found in a little shop in Chinatown, the silver band with Chinese characters carved into it, which moved. You could spin it endlessly around your finger because it was situated perfectly inside a groove in the ring. A really nice idea. I don't know what it said, but some silversmith with OCD must have come up with it, for it was a perfect little worry ring. You could even say a prayer if you're into that sort of thing. Say a prayer while you're spinning it around, presuming the characters spell out something honest and decent, faith or hope or courage or strength. I was pretty confident they did. Otherwise, I would have gone around hassling every Chinaman or woman to translate it, which was not my cup of tea. I spun the ring wishing Kel would come around, wishing Bless and Maze could be friends, while Bless made her face sour and glower like a real non-best friend. Freddy was asking for a wrench, so I went to his toolbox in the van and searched for that size. Having trouble finding it and could have used some help while Bless was out leaning and standing and doing absolutely nothing on purpose. And I was beginning to really feel half insane by the whole ghost and dogtown scene in its verisimilitude. Freddy was immersed and the non-best friend was chewing gum and smoking menthols and playing her entitlement card which had expired and was not up for renewal. Sorry. And I was worrying about Kel between pulling zombies with her can-you-spare-some-change routine across the invisible line we had drawn into the van for some sneaker chiropractics. Pushers and hustlers and junkies and escorts, former husbands and wives and church-going people. Please, can a sea change fall from the sky?